February 2007 was the event said to have changed Cartoon Network forever. A guerrilla marketing team posted neon lights around the major American cities, promoting the Aqua Teen Hunger Force movie. Three weeks later, the city of Boston was put on lockdown for what police assumed was a potential bomb threat. Sorry the world has to revolve around something you assumed. I once assumed I could breathe underwater. That didn't turn out well at all. Turner Broadcasting ended up paying the city $2 million in damages. The marketing team was sentenced to community service. President of Cartoon Network Jim Staples stepped down. And Loverboy has always sucked. Oh no they don't! Some say this began the downfall of Cartoon Network when Stuart Snyder came into power. But I choose not to blame one man when there are so many in charge of a TV station. I personally felt it was going down in 2006 when the live action movie pilot Reanimated came into play. Near the same time as YouTube's creation started killing off television viewership now that pirating cartoons and uncut anime became more accessible. I'm thankful Cartoon Network is in much better condition now than it was in that pitiful era of 2009. Now let's backtrack to this event. Yes, a circuit board with wires might seem questionable, but it took you all three weeks to notice a suspected bomb threat. The other cities didn't panic over this children's toy. LAPD, put down the Rubik's Cube! The reason I'm bringing all this up is for the Aqua Teen Hunger Force episode 69, entitled Boston, was set to kick off the fifth season parodying the events of the bomb scare just one year after the event. It was never released to avoid further pissing Boston off with limited information as to what exactly was the plot. What we know for certain is comedian Paul F. Tompkins makes an appearance, co-creator Matt Murr boasted how it was his favorite episode, and there exist three versions of this short with no plans on a release until long after the creator's demise. It's been five years since the modern day equivalent to the War of the Worlds radio panic. It wasn't the worst thing to hit 2007. I miss Soldier Boy. They don't make good music like that anymore. Music today sucks. Who honestly cares about the Boston incident now? Who cares about Boston in general? Can anyone even point at Boston on a map? I sure can't. It's like Singapore, like what the fuck is a Singapore? I don't fucking know. We need to stick it to Boston. Today they take our light brights, tomorrow our easy bake ovens. An episode spoofing the events said to have changed Cartoon Network by the people on the inside would be hilarious. Thanks to Ko, Reddit, and all who followed my direct Twitter storm at the company, Adult Swim got us the Lost Dexter's Rude removal. We're just waiting for hashtag tell Jeff to upload it. I'm assuming they're trying to get it to air on TV, but at this point it's been overhyped. Just upload it. Begin submitting the hashtag Aqua Team Boston to Adult Swim and Cartoon Network. While you're at it, submit the hashtag tell Jeff. Tell Jeff he's a cracker ass honky. Tell Jeff he's a donkey fucker anal annihilator. Tell Jeff he's a Scooby Doo salt shaker shit baker. Just pop in the colored pegs to create favorite characters or their own light pictures. Light bright, light bright, turn on the magic of shining light. Light bright from Milton Bradley.